Houston, you might be interested to doubt my left-hand window right now. I can observe the entire continent of uh, North America, Alaska, over the pole, uh, down to the Yucatan Peninsula, Cuba, northern part of South America, and then I run out of window. I guess the view must be pretty good from up there. we show you uh, just roughly somewhere around 19,000 miles out now. The atoms that comprise life on Earth, the atoms that make up the human body, are traceable to the crucibles that cooked light elements into heavy elements in their core under extreme temperatures and pressures. These stars, the high mass ones among them, went unstable in their later years. They collapsed and then exploded, scattering their enriched guts across the galaxy. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and all the fundamental ingredients of life itself. These ingredients become part of gas clouds that condense, collapse, form the next generation of solar systems, stars with orbiting planets. And those planets now have the ingredients for life itself. So that when I look up at the night sky, and I know that, yes, we are part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. When I reflect on that fact, I look up. Many people feel small because they're small and the universe is big, but I feel big. Because my atoms came from those stars.